Hey guys, what's up? Misha here. I wanted to show you two of my Mayonez Regius guitars, both six strings, and both guitars I use quite a bit. One more so live and one more so in the studio. Now this rather interesting guitar here is more of a studio beast for me. And uh, as you can see, it has very interesting looking frets and it's got an Evertune bridge. Now, um, these frets are called True Temperament frets. You might have heard me talking about them. And uh, if you're a gear nerd like I am, you might have heard of Evertune. Um, and those two things on this guitar make it a very, very unique instrument, especially for the studio. These frets here are designed for perfect intonation. Uh, the idea is that flat frets are sort of an approximation of, of good intonation, you're always compromising, but these are actually designed by a computer and they sort of figured out the ideal point. So this is why the lines, or the <laughs> lines, the frets, look a little bit squiggly because at every point it's in the ideal position relative to that string. And uh, I think a lot of people think that this will bend or feel weird, but as you can see it sounds sounds totally fine and it feels totally fine because it's just moving along uh, in, in a linear fashion across the weird shape. Um, the other aspect of this guitar that's very unique is this Evertune bridge. And this is very cool because it always keeps your guitar in tune. And it's one of those things that sounds too good to be true, but it's tension based. So basically all it's doing is just maintaining the tension on the guitar at all times. Um, so good example. <laughs> tuning up and down on the string, it's not going to do anything uh, because there's a threshold in which it'll just maintain that tension no matter what. So I could do this. It's not going to go sharp. And it's the same if I pick really hard, which is kind of nice because I like to pick hard, but if you pick hard, you probably notice that the note tends to go sharp and then settles back to the note that you want. So for recording, this is amazing. And then the chords, you can hit them as hard as you want. But they'll always be in tune because every note is just directly on the note it should be. Again, because the bridge is just making sure that the tension's ideal at all points. That combined with these frets means that you get perfect intonation and perfect tuning over the whole fretboard. I mean, you can just play like ridiculous stuff up here. It's it's kind of funny, you know. Anyways, that's what sets this guitar apart. Um, as far as specs on this guitar, we have uh, my signature Bernacle Juggernaut set here. This is uncovered because uh, it's technically a prototype. The, uh, this guitar was finished before those uh, pickups were officially out and we didn't have covers ready for them. But that's the Juggernaut set, pretty much what's available right now. Um, this gorgeous quilt maple top with this reverse uh, blue to white fade. Um, just a single volume here, three-way switch. So the neck on this guitar is also different. We have a Wenge based neck. They're doing the same 11 ply multi lamb thing here, but that's the majority of it. It does give the guitar a bit of a darker tonality, um, but thanks to the Juggernauts, it's actually pretty well balanced overall. And the body is uh, Black Limba, which um, is kind of a prettier version of Karina. Um, it's a little bit heavier than the other guitar, but uh, it sounds really full, very nice. The fretboard on this one is ebony, but it's bound with maple, flame maple, which is very nice. And of course we have lumen lays, because uh, when I do use this live, I like to have my lumen lays. And uh, on this one we have uh, hip shot open gear locking tuners, and these are my favorite uh, locking tuners in the whole world. So uh, I really like this. And it's funny because <laughs> you don't really need to sweat the tuners so much on this guitar, as long as they lock very easy to string up this guitar. You don't need to stretch or anything because the bridge just kind of does all that and compensates for you. So 
So obviously these two guitars are similar in a lot of ways, and they do have their differences. Um, apart from the Evertune and the uh, frets, I'd say tonally the biggest difference is that this is more of a all well-rounded guitar. It's very full sounding. I think the neck probably has something to do with that. It's it's very rich in the low mids. Um, the walnut guitar has a bit more attack, a bit more aggressive, and you can hear it for yourself. So. <laughs> My favorite thing about this guitar is that it's the ultimate studio guitar. Anybody who's recorded knows how much time is spent retuning, intonating everything just perfect. And uh, it works against the workflow, it works against the creativity when you have to stop, you're in the zone, and you're just trying to get your guitar to be in tune with itself and the rest of the song. So this actually saves a lot of time when I'm writing. <laughs> This guitar was actually used on uh, Mark's song on the Clear EP, and it made it the easiest song to track because everything was just always in tune, everything was right. Another thing I like about the guitar is how full it is. Um, and with these pickups, you can really get the attack out of it just by digging in, which is very much my style of playing. So um, it, it really fills out the mix very nicely. Um, and this is one of my uh, main go-to recording guitars.